I wanted to demonstrate how to do the uh, static timing test for the engine, get make sure that we've got it set up for the timing at top dead center. So this is uh, adapted from one of the VW sites. Uh, I've got uh, the link in my blog. So I'll show you how I'm working that and what we're doing for the, uh, for the engine. So first step is getting it set up for top dead center. So over here you can't see it on my prop. I have the mark set up for top dead center. And then you can see here uh, for the rotor, here on the case of the, the uh, distributor, there's a little mark that's put there in the factory. And right now this is closely aligned with that mark uh, for top dead center. But we're gonna be doing the static test right here to ensure that that's set up properly. So we've got it set up in the firing position. Everything's all set to go. We remove the distributor cap, of course, so we don't have to worry about that. And then, um, let's see, we've got the bolt loosened, so I can go ahead and, and turn the distributor body itself. So I'm going to turn on the ignition. So now we have current flowing. And what we're going to do is we'll take the positive lead. Now we've got the, the negative lead already attached to ground. And first I'm going to check on the positive lead for, let's see, we should have power coming through here. Make sure I've got a good ground over here because I'm not seeing any anything right now. Let me double check that. Okay. And, oh, got to turn on the tester. That always helps. And yes, we've got 12 volts flowing through there. Uh, over on this side, there's nothing. So right now, that's indicating by touching right here on this spade for the points, I'm not seeing any current flow, which means that the gap is closed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate it counterclockwise just, just there, just until I see current flow. So you can see down here that I've got a uh, voltage coming across there. Turn it back this way just a little bit. It drops. And I'm going to turn it back just a little bit more counterclockwise right there. And that tells me that I'm just at the point where the points are opening and the engine's going to fire. And that's it. That is how you do the static timing test. And from there, then we should be able to tell that the engine should start just fine. So this is my first test. Um, the engine's been having, you know, a little bit of problems getting started. So this should get me set up with uh, good timing on that. We'll knock on wood and see how it goes.